Hello students, today we are going to discuss about wind profile. We all know that wind means it is a flow of air. So, wind profile is the nature of air flow over the surface of earth. The differential solar heating of the earth surface produces pressure and temperature gradients. Atmosphere is in continuous motion with air movement being always turbulent. There are maybe three factors which influence the wind profile. First one is the time of the day that is whether it is daytime or night time which mainly depends upon the radiation received from the sun. Second one is surface roughness that is whether the area under consideration is a urban area, suburb or rural area. We know that the surface roughness is significant up to a height of 1 km from the surface of the earth. Third factor is topographical effect. It means the geography of the area that is whether the area under consideration is a plain or it is hills etc. First of all, let us see how the wind profile is affected by the time of the day. That is whether it is daytime or nighttime. During daytime, solar heating causes thermal turbulence or eddies which result in turbulent mixing of air in the atmosphere. This results in a more flat velocity profile during day than night as you can see from the graph. The thermal turbulence also depends upon the stability of the atmosphere. As we have seen in the earlier classes, the stability of the atmosphere means the atmosphere may be unstable, it may be neutral or stable. So that also affects the wind profile. The thermal turbulence is maximum on clear sunny day in the afternoon and minimum at night or early morning. That is, during clear sunny day, there will be more sun's radiation and that will cause the thermal turbulence and in turn cause the wind profile. Whereas, during night time or early morning, the amount of solar radiation will be less and the wind also will be comparatively less. Now, let us see the wind profile due to the effect of surface roughness. Surface roughness means the presence of buildings or trees which obstruct the passage of wind. In urban areas, we know that there will be number of high rise buildings which can obstruct the path of the wind. But in suburbs, the number of buildings are comparatively less and the height of the building is also comparatively less. So, the obstruction to the path of the wind is also less. And in level country or in rural areas, the buildings are less and even if they are there, they are either single story or maximum double story buildings. So, they obstruct less the passage of wind. So, mechanical turbulence is produced due to the shear stress generated by the air movement over the earth surface. So, greater the surface roughness, the greater will be the turbulence. For rougher surface in the urban areas, more mechanical turbulence is generated. Thus, as you can see from the graph, urban area achieves a particular velocity, say, u meter per second or say 3 meter per second at a higher altitude than in suburbs or level countries. Next, let us see the wind profile due to topographical effect. The surface topography can modify the general pattern of wind and direction. 
the surface topography means the geography of the area that is whether it is coastal area or whether it is plains or whether it is hilly area these can actually modify the pattern of the wind and its direction let's see the effect of the sea and land breeze on coastal areas we know that in the early morning the condition near the coast are calm and no pressure gradients are developed but during daytime by afternoon the surface of the coast becomes warmer than over the sea and this sets up a cool sea breeze that is as the surface of the coast becomes warmer it will also make the air very close to the surface warm and the warm air lifts to the upper layers of the atmosphere and this causes the cool breeze from the sea to move towards the coast at night a rapid cooling of the air above the land causes the pressure gradient and the winds reverse and set up a land breeze that is the wind will flow from the coast towards the sea thus the pollutants move inland during the day and return to the high up layers at night this results in pollution problems in some large coastal areas which have number of industries located near the coast now let's see the wind profile in mountain valley during day the air near the mountain slope warms up faster than the air at the same altitude farther away from the mountain this causes local pressure gradient towards the mountain slope and air is forced to flow up the slope as valley breeze during night the pressure gradient is reversed and the less buoyant air flows towards the mountain valley as mountain breeze so the pollutant concentration can build up to a dangerous level under these conditions in the valley due to plume from a chimney located in the valley that is if there is a industry located in the valley the plume from the chimney of the industry will move as warm air uphill during the day time and during night time the same pollutant may move down as cool air and the pollutant will remain concentrated in the valley itself this can cause pollution problem in the valley so that's all about the different types of wind profiles thank you